Okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I'm following. I'm following. Franziska. Franz... Fran? Frickin' Ziska. Stop abusing me in court. If she makes me pass out again, I am going to be so pissed. Hey guys, it's Michaela, and welcome back to another Ace Attorney video. <sighs> you guys, wow. Um, First of all, hello, happy Saturday. As you guys may have seen in my community post, it is Friday evening when I am filming this, and unfortunately, I am almost as exhausted as I was last night when I was planning on filming this. But you know what? That's okay, because the exhaustion is a good exhaustion. I had a mediation in real life today, my real actual job of being a lawyer, that went amazingly and, and, somehow, some way, I got two fan arts this week. Both of them on the same day, actually. And I wanted to share them with you guys. So first off, I received this piece of fan art from someone who would prefer to remain anonymous, but they are a very big supporter of my channel. They are commenting on everything always, and I thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate them. And they said that they painted this. The talent. I... I can't even begin to think about how I would paint something like this. I can't imagine. And that's clearly not my forte. You guys are so incredibly talented and I love it. So thank you so much to the person who did this for me. I thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate it and you. Secondly, I received this piece of fan art and it is a drawing of me and our boy Mannequin. As you guys can see in the drawing, Mannequin is in fact mannequining. And we love that for him. This piece of art was done by Gail Hanako Saki and their Instagram name is Gail underscore Hanako. And they said their art was inspired by the way I always check the mannequin in the detention center after the defendant says something ridiculous. And as you guys know, I, I do be checking the mannequin. Like we are tighter than Phoenix and Maya at this point. So again, such a cool piece of artwork. Thank you so much, Gail, for taking the time to draw this for me and Again, as usual, you guys, I am overly thankful for you. I, I literally can't put it into words. I love you guys so much. Your support means the absolute world to me. And I wouldn't be here without you, okay? And neither would Phoenix and neither would Max. And let's go ahead and get into that, shall we? In the last video, which if you happen to miss it, you're going to want to watch it because we finally met Acro. And that man gave us more information than I feel like all of the characters in this case combined thus far. Probably most important, Acro has a little brother named Bat, and Bat is currently in a coma in the hospital for the same reason that Acro is currently in a wheelchair stuck in his room. And that was because six months ago there was an accident with Leon the lion where Bat, as a dare with Regina, who he was trying to impress and wanted to take on a date, decided to stick his head inside of Leon the lion's mouth. Now, this was something Regina had done numerous times without issue, but not this time. Leon chomped down like it was his afternoon snack, apparently had a big grin across his face the entire time, and Acro comes in to try to help and save his brother and in the process gets attacked by Leon and thus lands himself in a wheelchair. And then the next day, Russell, our, you know, victim here, decides to take Leon out in the back and shoot him. Just, just, just shoot him. Um, what? That, that's, that's a lot, um, but that's the main crux of what Acro had to say last video. He also told us that Russell took him in from a very young age and that he feels he owes Russell his life and that when Bat got injured, he was wearing a scarf that Regina had actually given him that Franziska swooped in at the end of the video and decided to take to decide if it was going to be used as evidence in today's trial. What that means, I don't know, because excuse me, how are you in charge of that? But you know what? It's too early. Let, let's let let's not get into Franziska this early. Last video, we also did learn about Franziska's real motivation for why she is the way she is, which I found to be a lot less heartwarming than you guys apparently did. Like my comment section was filled with C. This is why I love Franny. I love Franziska. Look at her. She's sticking up for her brother. No, no, 
I'm still not convinced and I know several of you guys commented that there are many other sources out there that can get, provide more information and more detail if you will. I haven't seen them. We're going based off of what the games told me and so far Francisca is still terrible. And we still don't know why there is a container of pepper inside of an iron lined wooden box that my victim was found hunched over when he was dead. The only thing I can recall is that Mo said Bat used to tease Regina with the pepper, I guess to make her sneeze. I don't see what that has to do with anything, but uh, good to know. Thank you, Mo. And the footprints. Where are the footprints? There are still a lot of questions unanswered, but I have a really good feeling that we are going to get a lot of the answers we have been seeking in today's trial. So with that being said, the candle of the day is Fiji White Sands by White Barn. And you know what? I decided to choose this candle because life is a beach, you know? Life is a beach. And so is Franziska. That's the energy we're going with today. Okay, people, I'm sorry if she's your favorite. She's not mine yet. But I, at this point, I, I think the ship has sailed. But hey, who knows? Who's to say? Let's get into it. Cheers. Oh boy, I, I am nervous. Several of you, I'm pretty sure, also said that this trial made you cry. Unless I was misinterpreting that, what exactly do you mean? What are we about to get into? I don't know. I really don't. Oh, God. Okay. Episode 3, Turnabout Big Top, Part 4-1, Trial. Okay, no turning back now, you guys. December 30th, so New Year's Eve Eve. Here we are again. It was almost Christmas. 9.41 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number 5. Good morning, Maya! Wow! Guys, when is the last time during an opening scene Maya popped on with a smile? You know what? Maybe that's a sign. Maybe everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> hey, Max. How's it going? Um, not well, it looks like. Again? Again, Max, uh, uh, unless you know something I don't, you're not going up in front of anyone today. Your job, once again, is to sit there and look pretty. Okay, thanks. Uh-uh, no, no rogue tee heats. Absolutely not. Absolutely, oh, Regina? Okay, um, Okay. 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 Why is Regina in the defendant lobby? <laughs> okay. Oh. Did he now? That's interesting. I don't like this, y'all. I don't like this. I don't like it. Um, hopefully not. It sure isn't, Max. It sure isn't that kind of show. Okay, well, that's Regina for you guys. Come on now. This isn't news. <laughs> sure, so to speak. Great. Bye, Regina. Okay, you're you can go. Thank you. Thank you, Regina. Thank you. You know, Maya, I don't know what to think anymore. I'm just rolling with the punches, girl. Okay. Mo! What are you doing in the defendant lobby? What what is going on? Not a legal limbo, Mo. Please. Please. Okay. 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 Or, or have you brought me coffee? An energy drink? Or just your lame jokes? <laughs> okay, bro. It's the milk for me. I cannot with the freaking milk. I literally cannot with the freaking milk. I cannot. <laughs> I've been better. 
Yeah, I mean, we know we're going to hear from Acro today because that's what Francisca said. She also said this was going to be the showdown of the century, so whatever that means. Yeah. No, Maya, I don't think he did it at all. No. Okay. Period. Oh, again? Again? Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Hopefully that ends with this case for a while, because that was a lot. <laughs> as you guys probably recall last trial video, so... Oh, all right. Why? Why is it important that... Re well, I mean, it's her father, I guess, but... Hi, Winston T. Hi, baby. Welcome to the video. Thank you so much for coming. Much more on time than you were last video. That was Winston saying hi, everyone. Mwah. Thank you. You may go to your spot. Yeah, she clearly is having a reality issue and has been since we met her. So that's that's not a fair or that's not an unfair thing to want, though. Okay. I mean, I, okay. I mean, she is 16. I understand. I don't think that's a terrible way to describe death, honestly, because Regina seems to understand that Russell's not coming back anytime soon or ever, really, and that she will eventually go to where he is. So it's, I don't know, Moe's motivation is a little strong for my taste, but okay. Well, you don't have to, Mo. It's not your dad that died. Judge, Judge, what what mood are we in today? Are we in a mood of competency by chance? Just wondering. Oh, okay, Francisca, your your challenge begins now. Ten dialogues in, no whip. Hello, Franklin. Have you come to give Francisca some good karma? Haha. <laughs> no pun intended, but kind of worked out. Okay, guys, that's one. Two. That's three. That's four. Revise. Hmm. That's seven, you guys. Oh, here we go with the flying again, bro. Can we not? Oh my god. Nine. Look at the growth. We're so proud. We're so proud. Um, I am very much looking forward to this explanation, Francisca. If the need so arises, the need will arise. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Literally. Poor freaking gumshoe. All right, Acro. Get up here. Okay, guys. Frankie, we have a hard job today, but we can do it. Okay. He brought the birds? <laughs> Why did he bring his birds with him? Okay. Before we get into the testimony, I'm not going to go through all these again because we kind of just did, but mainly for me and to see everything and also the pieces of evidence we got toward the end of the last video. 
Yep. Can never forget that. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course. Money and Leon. Autopsy report. This, uh, the Grand Prix, was it, is also something we found out last video that Max has done. This is the note that Acro gave to Regina. Okay, bye, Franklin. Dang. This is, this is, this is interesting. Acro put this in Regina's pocket, right? And then Regina posted it to that bulletin board. And then Russell ripped it the bottom half of it off and stuck it in his pocket and didn't tell anyone. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Okay. You know what? I don't know if I read this correctly last video, but in the event I didn't, let's just clear it up right now. Acro was telling Russell that Acro has conclusive evidence of what took place six months ago. Six months ago, was the lion attack when Leon attacked Acro and Bat. So it sounds like Acro thinks that perhaps Russell did something? Even though we have no knowledge that Russell was involved in Leon's attack at all. And apparently he was the one that was supposed to be re meeting Russell at the lodging house plaza. But if he's in a wheelchair and he claims to never leave his room, claims then how did he kill Russell Berry? I don't know, but that's, I'm sure we're gonna get into that today. And then this is a picture of Max's bus, which I'm also not 100% sure how that's relevant yet, but we have it, okay. And thank you to everyone who told me that Dingling is a reference to the Ringling Brothers. I love it, I love it. Okay. Okay. Not the best alibi. You can't really have an alibi if you were by yourself, but I'm listening. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I was, I, I'm like, I don't remember there being wheelchair marks, but just in case there were, I had to make sure that Acro did not somehow make it down here in the wheel away. So... Still just Russell's footprints, it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and tell me, Acro. What did you see? What did you see? And please don't have been the one to have done this because I actually like you, okay? I really do like you and I don't, I don't want to hate you because you're a murderer. So let's keep it clean. Okay. Here we go with the thump noise again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on, I gotta look at something else. Okay. I was just trying to see if the shadow perhaps matched the bust at all, but I feel like, I mean, the cards are not poking out of the sides in the shadow. I only saw him from behind. So again, nobody saw his face. Okay, that's your testimony? You saw someone from behind? Huh. Guys, I'm I'm honestly genuinely proud of Franziska and her lack of whipping thus far. I hope I'm not breaking breaking that, but I, I'm really proud of her, I am. Period. Hello? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Franziska. How would you know? You're not a man. 
Okay. Whoa. 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 Why are we bringing Edgeworth into this? <sighs> Probably, but I'm a little frazzled right now, Judge. Oh. <laughs> okay, period. Period. I love it. I love Sassy Phoenix. Okay, guys. So... I'm guessing we have press penalties again. That's what I took the whole beginning dialogue to mean. But as y'all can see, we got a full life bar because we worked our arses off last video to get that, okay? So. <sighs> okay. It was just after 10 p.m. and I was resting in my bed. Around that time, I heard a large thump from outside of the window. A few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. It was Max. I only saw him from behind, but that's who it looked like. To be honest, when I saw that, I thought I was dreaming. Okay. Uh, without pressing everything, you guys, it's just like, oh god, what the heck? Okay. Okay. Uh, again, if we're being strategic, which I hate that we have to be, but if we are, that's what we're accepting. I don't think I need to press this. Uh, I don't see, I don't see what I can get out of pressing that. So, around that time, I heard a large thump noise from outside the window. I would like to know more about that personally, so let's press it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh! Oh God. Oh God. He's on the third floor in bed, but still able to hear a noise outside of his window. Why would that? I don't think there's anything contradictory there. I mean, I hear noises. I hear noises outside my window right now that I have to typically edit out of these videos. And I'm, I'm above the third floor. So... I don't see anything wrong with that, Phoenix. I don't. So I'm gonna go with no. Okay, am I gonna get punished for that? Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't. Okay, so I'm wondering. Maybe I don't get a press penalty. Maybe Acro just doesn't give me anything more. You know what I mean? Maybe that's the that's the trick or whatever. But this we obviously have to press. I mean. A mannequin or a large action figure flying. Phoenix, you lost me. You lost me. Don't bring Mannequin into this, okay? <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Okay, this is weird. This is weird. This is just so weird, okay. I saw someone flying by my window. Why? I don't think that contradicts anything. I don't see, I don't see anything wrong with, with, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually. Wait, no, no, no. I'm going to choose this because I need to go back, but... 
Okay, there doesn't appear to be a press penalty, which is good. Okay. That's good. I like that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I guess he can see his window from his bed. He didn't have to get up to see that. It was Max Galactica. I only saw him from behind. I mean, that's probably our statement just because, like, that's the most, you know, that's the one that's, that's provable as far as it being wrong. But what do I have? What do I have? I mean, guys, that's his hat. Okay. Wait. Wait. Guys. Okay. I don't even know how to, like, direct you guys to this. So we have the hat on the right, okay? Stay with me. We have the collar, the collar of his cloak on the left on the screen. Look at the head. Does that look like a human head shape to you guys? That looks like maybe hair? But Max's hair doesn't look like that. What is that? That has to mean something. I don't know. The safety lights lit things up enough for me to see. Is that the shape of the hat, though? Now I'm just... Now I'm all kinds of... I'm like, what else could that be? <laughs> but, like, guys, this is just a regular brimmed hat. Do you guys see how it, like curves upward into a point I, I i don't know if i'm reaching right now or if y'all are screaming yes michaela that's it i don't know interesting interesting why did the birds just fly off of him? Does that mean something? Silk hat, cloak. Oh, they're back. Oh. I I'm gonna come back to this. I am gonna come back to that. Cause I do think that's probably our statement. And because it appears we're not getting penalized, I'm gonna make sure I press everything. Oh, God. Um, wouldn't be the first time. Okay, it was coming. It, it was coming. But you know what, guys? She made it. She, she's, she's making progress. <laughs> I mean, he has to be. Absolutely. But how do I prove it? Okay. This is the only thing we didn't press. giving us jack crap okay so we have to work with what we have i don't have a problem with that statement oh 
I don't have a problem with that statement still. It's probably this one. It's probably this one, but I don't like, I don't like this whole exchange either. The whole, when did you stop thinking it was a dream? And then Francisca not wanting him to answer that. I don't like that. Oh, I mean, could I present Francisca on that statement? Sure. I don't feel great about that, honestly. This, I feel like, is my statement. But, like, what can I present to disprove that? Again, just walking through, I could present the hat because, in my humble opinion, the brim of the hat is not the shape of the shadow that he saw whatsoever. It's just not. And I don't think this is going to help us right now with that. I don't think. Because again, it's the cards, like the cards, if someone were holding this for God knows whatever reason, because I'm trying to think of how this is relevant, and this was the shadow he saw, then there would have been cards coming out of the side. I don't have like a super strong inkling either way, you guys. I really don't. I really don't. But I'm going to have to pick something. And I feel like I don't want to present it. I feel like I want to go into it and then say that there's a contradiction. So let's, you know what? Let's just jump in. Let's start by presenting the hat on this statement. And see how much life we lose if it's wrong. Because we have 10 and it might not be too much, hopefully. Yeah, like, look at that hat, but it might just be the angle too. Ugh, God, maybe. <sighs> I feel like I'm missing something. I do. I do. <sighs> I'm second guessing the hat now because at a certain angle, I think it could look like that. What the heck do we have? It kind of looks like money is the one in the shadow, honestly, with just the texture of his hair, but his ears weren't there. Guys. This came from Acro, and it's Acro saying for Russell to meet him in the lodging house plaza at 10 p.m. So he couldn't, he wouldn't have been in bed. How is he going to meet Russell at 10 p.m. if he's in bed? Okay, let's find the statement, you guys. That's, that's it. That's, that's it right there. I know it. I know it. I know it. Okay. No, no, no. No. Plot twist? I think it's this one! I think it is! Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh no. Really? Dang! I was really confident with that, you guys. Are you serious? Did we not conclusively establish that that, that Acro wrote that last video or something? Because I know that he wrote that. Dang! How did that not... Oh, my God. 
Okay. Well, I guess not, y'all. I mean, I, I don't know what to say about that. I felt really good about that. I did. So, again, we can do Francisca on this statement, which I have like a zero level confidence in, or we can try to focus on this one. All right. We might, ugh, I, I would hate to die. I would, but we, again, we're on the first statement. I need to get my feet wet. We need to start presenting. So we might have to take an L, but I'm going to present a few things on this statement if I need to. And then worst, camp, worst comes to worst, I'll pre present Francisco on the last one, I guess. Or maybe I don't need to present anything. Maybe I need to say that there's a contradiction. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I forgot. Gosh darn it. On that first statement, did I just present that or did I say that there was a contradiction? I don't think I said there was a contradiction. Hold on. Maybe that's what I need to do. Oh God, I hope I don't lose life on the same thing. That would be so dumb, but... Yeah, I don't think I I don't think I pressed this again. Yeah, I don't think I did. Okay, okay. Maybe that's what I need to do, guys. Again, kind of a stupid way of going about it if that's correct, because I already presented the thing, but let's see. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. It didn't even give me an option to say it contradicted it! What the frick? Bro, what the frick? Oh my god, that sucks. Okay. Alright. Alright, we're back to this, guys. I, I mean, I don't know what to tell y'all. I really don't. I really don't know what to tell y'all. So, here we go. Here we freaking go. I will. All right, what are we gonna start with? The silk hat. I mean, we could do this picture, which might be more persuasive. That's probably what we have. So let's start with the picture. Actually, oh! Oh, 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 oh. Guys, the contradiction found at the crime scene. The contradiction is this hat could not have been in that shadow because it was on the ground. That's the contradiction. That's the freaking contradiction. Okay. I wish I would have realized that before I got myself into here because I don't want to back out of this. And I don't even know if I can. What was the statement I just pressed? It was Max. I saw him or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Oh. Oh, thank God. Guys, I think we got it. I think we freaking got it. I think we freaking got it. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix. Be sensitive. To be fair, though, if he's lying and Phoenix knows he's lying, he, like, if he, it, I get it. Yeah. No, the ringmaster? No! No, judge. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Guys, get it together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dang, Acro is buff, y'all. Y'all see those arms? Those biceps are crazy. What, Franziska? Yes, Maya. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know. Okay. He has a grudge against Max. Not a bad choice. 
I'm not gonna pick He Was Dreaming, that's stupid. Acro is the real culprit. I do not have anything to prove that at this point other than my note. But I feel like if I choose Acro as the real culprit, they're gonna say, fine, what evidence do you have to prove that? Uh, 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 uh. But if I say he has a grudge against Max, does he have a grudge against Max? What is Acro's opinion of Max? I know everybody hates Max, but Acro's beef is with Regina. I don't think Acro has a grudge against Max. Maybe it is Acro's the real culprit. Let's do it. And we'll present the note if it gives me the option. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, that was a weird, that was a weird preface. I don't know why I said that, Francisca. Just, just forget all about that. Y yeah, yeah. So I am accusing him of murder, uh, but, but, the no, the no. Yes. <laughs> Deadly serious. What are we saying right now? Why are we speaking like this? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Francisca. Your Honor, allow me to prove it with my note. <laughs> what smoke and what mirrors, Francisca? What are you talking about? A little too calm, Francisca. So? Sociopaths are always calm and collected. Not always, but sometimes. Um, not really. <laughs> okay, but Acro, you were lying about being in your bedroom, dude. So did you have help? Is that what you're suggesting? He's, he's being so nice and so respectful that it's making him look so good. But I, I don't know, it's getting kind of sketchy to me now. I'm like, did Acro do this? No, that is not what I am doing. Okay, Pearl, is that you? That's okay. Thank you for the show. Okay, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with that. Are you saying that a disabled person cannot commit a crime? Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Who would his accomplice be, though? Obviously not Maya. Obviously not Max. Okay. Ben. Maybe? Not Gumshoe, not... Um, um. Hopefully not Regina. Obviously not the victim. Mo? Probably not. And Bat has been in a coma for six months. So, Ben? Hmm. That would explain them misremembering or lying about who they saw walk past him. Maybe it is Ben. Okay, either way, if Acro genuinely cannot get down from his room by himself, he had to have an accomplice. What? That is not what I'm saying, Your Honor. I don't know why he's saying that. That's not what I mean. Oh 
my god, what is going on? What are you talking about, dude? What are you talking about? What? Why the music? Okay, I don't appreciate the threats. Welcome back, Franklin. Okay. Here we go. Money! No, I'm kidding. Guys, I don't know who else it could be. I mean, Ben had beef with Russell, right? Yeah, I, I do. I do. I do say. Phoenix, stop saying that. You're stressing me out. Wait, why are we saying the same dialogue again? Why are we saying... Am I losing life right now? What the heck? Oh, foundation. This is new. Oh, God. Oh, God. Proof. Proof. Okay, proof. Proof, 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 proof. Okay. Okay. I highly doubt this is proof because Ben didn't know about it, to my knowledge. But if he did know about it and he saw Max's salary compared to what he was making, that could be motive. That could be motive, but that's not proof. That's not proof. This is really what I was thinking because of the fight that happened earlier with Max and Ben, which could have given Ben reason to want to frame Max for murder, but is that proof? Plot twist, Trillo was the blunt force trauma. <laughs> he was the object. Oh no. No. Wait. Guys, what if this was what they hit him in the head with? That's possible because that was missing. Taken from the cafeteria before the crime. I bet you that was the murder weapon. I bet you it was. I bet you it was. Okay. Okay. Guys, it's, it's all coming together very slowly. Okay. The wheels are turning. I don't think this is proof at all, but on a stretch, it could be because Ben and Trillo admittedly were in the vicinity at 10 p.m., right? But so was everyone else, question mark? I don't know. As far as proof goes, I do feel like this is our best shot, but I'm not feeling super confident. Okay. Not, not good. Not good. Okay. 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 That's fine. Oh my God. Thank you, Francisca. Maya, what are you doing? Like, I will literally fight you because why are you asking me stupid questions? Jesus. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to pick he didn't have an accomplice? At least if I do and it's wrong, I can know for sure because I would hate to, I would hate for that to be the correct answer and I'm going through all of these rabbit holes. So let's just say this, I'll lose one piece of life if I have to and then we can know for a fact. And it doesn't appear that we're going backwards before this, which means the answer that Acro was the actual murderer was correct. Didn't I just say no? Did I not just say no? 
Hold on. Let me make sure I chose the right answer. Y'all know the drill. The switch is incredible with this option. Yeah, I said he didn't. I literally said he didn't. I don't know what Francis was on about. Oh God. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, T. T, 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 T. <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Maya. I sure do. What if, what if Acro dropped the bust of Max from his third story window onto Russell's head, but then the bus would have been found at the scene. Maybe not. I don't know, Maya, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> period, period, Phoenix, period. All right, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. If the witness is the killer, then his eyewitness account is all lies. That would be correct, Francisca. That would be correct. Okay. Okay, see? Here we go. I think he was in his room. And I don't know how. I don't know how, but I think he was in his room. The question would be, how did the bust get from the scene? Wait. The hole in Mo's ceiling. There was a hole in Mo's ceiling. This is a, this is a really big stretch, you guys. <laughs> the bus was attached to a rope. <laughs> the bus was attached to a rope. No. No. There's no. That was no. I was thinking he pulled it back up to his room through most ceiling, but it doesn't even look like the rooms are on top of each other. Ugh. Either way, I think this is the correct answer, though. I really do. I don't know how, but I feel like that's the correct answer. Yeah. Okay. Guys, she's sweating. That's great news. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. What acro? Okay. And? How is it impossible, acro? How? Yes, Judge. <laughs> Why? He didn't go to the scene, but he could be the killer. Are you serious? No, he wasn't. No, it's not. Oh my God. What acro? God. <sighs> Guys, 
guys, I feel like the game is letting me go too far for this not to be the right theory. And I can't choose, can't present evidence now because what would that mean? What am I supposed to do? We're, there's, we're not gonna stop and go investigate. Okay. How did he commit the crime? Guys, oh man, okay, how did he commit the crime? Because why was this hat found at the, how did he commit the crime? I'm not sure, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the same thing. How did he commit the crime without an accomplice? Oh my god, I'm so stressed right now. Okay. Guys, the only thing I can present is that I don't I don't know. But I'm like, do I choose can't present evidence now just to make sure that's not the right answer and risk losing to life? Guys, I feel like the bus was the murder weapon. So how did he how? And why was the hat at the scene? How did he not have an accomplice? I, oh man. Cause wouldn't it make sense? Oh no, no, no. Oh man, I want to choose this just to make sure. But like, what would, okay, what is the judge gonna say? Oh, you can't present evidence? No problem. Like, let us know when you can. No. So I feel like I need to present some dang evidence. Okay, this question I can answer. I can't answer how, but I can answer what he used. And I do think it's this bust. Oh my God. Guys, I am inching my way through this trial piece by piece, but we're freaking making it, okay? We are freaking making it. Stop it right now, okay. But how did he remove the bus from the scene? It was attached to a rope. But why is there a hole in Moe's ceiling? Maybe that's just irrelevant. It was attached to a rope. Yeah, because Acro is strong AF. That man could have freaking pulled using his upper body the bust back through his window. Absolutely, freaking lootly he could have. Absolutely, freaking lootly he could have. So he wrote the note to get Russell to the square underneath his window where he knew he could kill him. Mm -hmm. 
was dropped, but yes. Objection. What, Francisca? No, it's not. What is up with you and the word impossible? Do you know what impossible means? Unlikely? Sure. Impossible? No. Objection. He's quite literally an acrobat. Have you seen the barbell in his room? That man lifts. Absolutely. freaking lutely The heck? Period. Pure freaking it, bro. Why? Why, Francisca? Because you don't want me to pummel you into the pulp you are? Like, is that why? Is that the reason? Okay. Sure. I mean, that's why he's here. Oh, T. I mean, I don't think we can. Oh. Okay. Of course it is. I'm shocked. Phoenix, because because he's an idiot. Bro, oh, like, I don't know what to tell you. And, and he's a little baby wimp. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Guys, we're making freaking headway. We're making freaking headway. And we still have six life left. I'm so happy about that. Okay. 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 Why? What force? So he's saying he can't see out of the window? Is that what he's saying? He's saying that from his position in the wheelchair, he couldn't see down to the ground out of the window. What if... Okay, again, in my head, this is playing out. He grabs the bust, he wheels over to the window, he sits the bust on the ground. He puts his hands on the windowsill and pr pr props himself up. Like when you guys are getting out of a swimming pool, for example, on the side of a swimming pool, you put your hands on the side of the swimming pool and you push up with your upper body. If you can, if you have the strength to do that, he does. He puts his hands on the windowsill. He pushes his body up to see out of the window. He sits back down. He gro grabs the bus and he throws it. I don't think that's far-fetched. No, I don't think, Acro. Hmm. How do I disprove this, though? Period. Okay. S says you, of all people. Okay, guys. Hopefully, similarly, we won't be getting punished for crossing him. I'm hoping. Just in case, I'm going to press out of order, starting with what I think is important. <laughs> I want to start with this statement. Okay. Okay, no penalty it looks like. Welcome back, Winston. No. <laughs> okay. 
Ja, Maya. Turn things around. Right. So we need to focus on how he knew the location of the ringmaster's head without looking down. The box? Okay, okay. Well, at least we've narrowed down the problem. He used some kind of tool to aim for the ringmaster. I mean, I said earlier the box. I mean, did he know the location of the box maybe? That's my only thing so far. to be it has to be the box you guys it has to be that's the only thing that was there Frankie you're so rough on your neck okay so I mean, I guess for funsies, let's just press these two since we can. Is money the tool? like that. I don't like that. I think we haven't pressed this either. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Karma. Well, shut up. Maya! Join in on the bullying. Okay, guys. So, we have two options. I was thinking the box, but it appears as if money was the quote tool. He does like shiny objects, he does take care of acro. How would money have known where to throw it, though? Or how would money have indicated to him where to throw it? This was bronze, so it was obviously shiny. And we can see the glimmers from there. Okay, I think the answer, we're going to choose money. But what statement do we choose him on? This one. Probably this one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, come on. Okay. So maybe it's this, the last statement then. I 
I'm not giving up on money. I'm not giving up on money. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh no, I don't want to die this far in. Okay, so it's not this one. And it's not this one. Maybe it is the box, you guys. Oh my god. I mean, it's a little shiny. Maybe money made the connection. I don't know. Oh god. It could also just be money on a different statement, y'all. It could. It could. Like, Maya was focused on a tool. I feel like, I mean, we're probably gonna die. I've accepted that, which sucks. We've done so freaking well. But it's okay. I can get back here quickly. It's okay. Because we're not saving, okay? We don't do that. But... I do feel like a good, strong last guess would be the box on this statement, because if the box was on the ground already, which it obviously was, for whatever reason, he could have known Russell would come near the box. That's all I got, guys. If I die, I die. Stop it right now. Franklin. Franklin. Are you kidding me? The game tried to throw me off. I said the box. Very rude of you, game. Very rude of you. The photo of him. Yep. Yes. Correct. 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 Oh, thanks, Judge. That's a first. Lifted up this wooden box. Okay. Okay, so the bust was somehow attached to a rope that was attached to the bust and lifting the wooden box somehow caused the bust to fall? Okay, I'm following, I'm following. Yes, Francisca. Yes. Finally. Period. <laughs> right. 
Please don't ask me. Oh, period. <laughs> I was right about the rope. Wait. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, 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 yes. I'm following. I'm following. Franziska. Franz Fran freaking Ziska. Stop abusing me in court. If she makes me pass out again, I am going to be so pissed. Okay. Okay, it could have been, but it wasn't. Like, what do you want from me? The iron lining, the weight of it, the weight of it. Because the weight caused him to need to lift it a certain way because it was heavy. I still don't understand why the pepper was in there. But I guess the pepper, maybe, maybe that was Acro's box and he kept the pepper in there as like a memory of his brother. Since again, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, Bat used to tease Regina with the pepper, something like that. I don't know. Or maybe he kept it away because he didn't want to see it or something because it was the reason. I don't know. But why was the box lined with iron? I think it was going to be that though. Yes. Wait. Yep. There we go. There sure would judge. So chill. Like he's like, oh yeah, you guys are proving I'm the murderer. Cool, no problem. <laughs> okay. And hmm. Okay. Get to it. Why not? The cafeteria. Oh, this is easy. I, I already know what's coming. He's going to say, how would I have gotten it from the cafeteria? And the answer, money. Money the monkey, not, not dollar bills. Uh-huh. You couldn't, but your animal could. Called it. Happily, Francisca. I did. I did say that. I'd love to. No, we don't. Not at all, Phoenix. Not at all. All right, guys. It's my final life again. Here we go. Oh my God. This is going so well. I'm shook. I don't know if he had him steal it, but Mon Money probably stole it on his own, like he's done multiple things. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, Phoenix. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> it is... Are we really gonna argue about the level of shine on something? Like, what are we doing? Mm hmm. There we go. That'll do it. That'll do her, baby. 
Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Great question. Okay. Not the murder. <laughs> oh God. Wait, what? Yes. Agreed. 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 Okay. Rude. Well, circles do hold water, Judge. That's what a cup is. <laughs> what? Francisca. What? No, he wasn't. But Acro clearly could have made that up. Why did Mo claim that he saw a figure at the scene of the crime? But no, that was the bust, right? They said it was life size, even though I didn't see legs on it. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know. God. No. 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 This has to be Ben, right, guys? I'm so close to the end. I cannot die now. Oh my God. Guys, okay, it obviously, again, no, no, maybe, no, no. Don't think so? No? I mean, no? No and no. Like, Ben is the only one that's that size, that tall, was there and could have been wearing the hat. I just don't understand why. Like, I don't understand if he was the person there, like, how did he get away with no footprints? Why was he? I mean... Like, it has to be him or Regina. Those are the only two options if it's not Mo himself. But, like, I don't think it would be Regina. And, like, she, she's... I need to think about this. Could it have been Regina? 
Y'all, I've been thinking about it and, and I'm not certain as to either of them, but Regina makes more sense in my head now. She, her outfit naturally kind of looks like the same as the top of the cloak, even though she might have just been wearing the cloak. She would have probably had access to her dad's room where the cloak was. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she was wearing Max's hat because of their weird relationship. Maybe the hat got left because she got so spooked when she saw her dad dead. I don't know, but I'm having trouble explaining the same things for Ben other than his height. Oh God, I really don't want to have to do all this again. But this is, this is the risk we take, you guys. And we've beaten, we've beaten this risk multiple times this game. If I lose on this one, I do, but the the thing I'm stuck on really is how would she, how would she have gotten away without footprints? But unless, I just feel like it's not Mo. That would just be phrased weird. Who was the murderer the clown saw? You mean Mo, you know? I don't know, you guys. I, I'm not feeling good about this at all, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll have to come back if we die. really good run you guys i'm very proud of how far we got without dying because we've literally been on thin ice since the beginning so i'm okay with that i'm okay with that i will see you guys in a second where we will have a full stack of life to go through that question because that's that's gonna be a tough one yeah yeah uh, all right here we go and we're back Okay, um, the natural thing to do. Oh, I'm going to lose three life now, not two. I was only going to lose two because I only had two left to lose. Great. Okay, I guess we choose Ben. Then I'll choose Mo. God forbid, if I need to. If it's not one of them, then it... Um. Okay, all right. It's not Ben. It's not Ben. <sighs> what was it? Money in a freaking cloak or something? <sighs> what did the cl I mean, guys, it's not mo I mean, <sighs> okay. All right. Okay, listen, the police did not get there until 15 minutes after the murder happened. It obviously wasn't Maya. Was it Max? <laughs> Maybe Max stumbled upon Russell's dead body. What if it was Max? Okay, you know what? That was on me. That was on me. I had to try it. I had to try it. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. So, we know it wasn't Gumshoe because he didn't get there in time. I mean, was it Francisca? Probably. We ha Yeah, we already chose her. It wasn't the victim. We already chose him. It, it, bats in a coma and Acro was upstairs. So, it's not a person. Are we choosing money? Is that what we're going to do with our last little piece of life? I 
I guess we're choosing money, you guys. Unless it was the bust. But where did the cloak come from? Gosh, freaking darn it. Okay, now I feel like the two options are the bust and money. Gosh, freaking darn it, bro. Uh, why, game? Why? Who was the murderer the clown saw? Why would money have been in a cloak? <laughs> why would money have been in a cloak? Why would a bust have been in a cloak? Okay. Um, Max said that Russell had taken his cloak from the room they were in, right? The lodge master's room or the ring master's room, whatever. What if when the bust fell, it somehow latched onto the cloak and that's why when it was being brought back up by the rope, it looked like a person. That's my best guess, you guys. That's my best guess. Here we go. Oh. Oh my God. Thank God, you guys. I'm like dying once is one thing, dying twice. Ah. Period. <laughs> Francis is getting pissed. Ew. Interesting. Interesting. So we're saying the cloak was put on before the murder. Um, Acro, Franziska. Hello? Have you not been paying attention? <laughs> oh, here we freaking go. How many questions do y'all want me to answer? When is enough enough, Judge? When is enough enough? Oh, no. No, I don't. <sighs> Who? I don't freaking know. Bro. Okay, we have money as an option. I mean, is Acro not the obvious choice? Because we said that the, that, the, that the cloak was put on before the murder. But didn't Russell take the cloak from Max? Bro, I don't know. Like the, the timing is making no sense to me. The bust was stolen from the cafeteria earlier, earlier. We don't know when, earlier, okay? It was already in Acro's room. The cloak was, had just been taken by Russell from Max in Russell's room during their conversation. Are we thinking, because I'm trying to remember, I know we have the fact that the negotiations had actually happened a week prior. The negotiations that Max claimed they were talking about the night of the murder. So, is it possible, are we saying that Max did not meet Russell that night? 
and the whole taking of the cloak thing happened that meeting that had happened a week earlier. Russell had taken the cloak from Max and Russell put it on the bust in the cafeteria, but like the odds of it making its way all the way back up to Acro's room, ugh, none of this makes sense, you guys. None of this makes sense. Was it Russell? But why would he do that? Like, what would be the reason? None of this is making sense to me. There's way too many options for me to only have one life left. There really is. Because the cloak isn't shiny, right? Not really. Not, not in that way. So I don't think it's money. Is it Russell? I feel like Russell is my best option because of the statement Max had made that Russell must have taken his cloak. Maybe Max put his cloak on the bust. Oh my God. Guys, I literally cannot. But why would he have done that? I mean, because he's an idiot? I don't know. <laughs> Because didn't Max say that his cloak was missing at some point? Bro. Guys, it, it can be literally any of these people I can make something up for. I really could. But if Russell took his cloak, like, why would Russell put it on the bus? That doesn't make sense. Maybe it was Max. I don't know, y'all. I need to come up with an acronym for if I die, I die. What is that? I-I-D-I-D. I-I-D-I-D. So maybe it is Russell then. Okay. All right, y'all, I'll be back. And we're back again. So Francisca's issue with me choosing Max mainly was he was wearing the cloak and how did he get it on the bus if he wasn't at the scene of the crime? But you know who was at the scene of the crime? Russell Berry. Oh God. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So I was freaking right a second ago. Stop tricking me, game. Why is the game literally gaslighting me right now? Did I not just say, did I not just say earlier that the bus picked the cloak up when it came down? Okay, so that did happen. But why? Why? Why was the ringmaster wearing Max's costume? I do not understand that. Why? Francisca said, "Apps a fork." 
Freaking lootly not. Period. Oh my god. Okay. Ah, uh, I should have just freaking went with my gut earlier. The game was trying. Ugh. God, I'm mad now. I did not have to die over that. Mo, yep. Right. Right. Yes, yes, yes. And the lack of footprints. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you, Phoenix. I'm with you. What evidence could you possibly want at this point? Okay, you know, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on the latter. I am. Mm -hmm. There we go, Judge. Nice filler. What evidence do you want? Oh my god. Here we go. <sighs> so there's a contradiction in Mo's viewing of the bust with the cloak on it. And the judge wants hard proof. Is it the hat? No. No, the hat was found at the crime scene because Russell was wearing the cloak and the hat. The cloak got brought back up by the bus, leaving the hat. There's still something unusual about Moe's eyewitness account. I mean, this is how he got Russell to come to the plaza. So, not really sure what's left, guys. I'm really not. The good news is we have a full bar to figure it the fork out, but like, hello? Acro lowers the box down with the rope. He attaches the bust to the rope. He drops the bust onto Russell's head. The bust makes the loud thump which causes Mo to look out of his window and see the bus being carried up with the cloak on it. What's the problem? What is the issue? And I don't even know what the judge is asking me at this point.
A contradiction in Mo's testimony. Is it the thump in all of that crap again? But like, what, what would I present for that? I mean, the pepper is obviously still weird, but I'm not sure what that has to do with this. Because again, they were talking about a contradiction in Mo's testimony about seeing the figure. Lord, like, ugh. Is this the, have we presented this yet? I don't think so. But this is hard proof. I don't think we've presented this yet. Like, and it have been successful. And I don't see how this contradicts what Mo said, but I mean, this is my best shot right now. And I, I honestly want to see what dialogue we can get if we fail, because this is kind of odd. was unnecessary oh my god they want evidence of what I just explained how there can only be one possible murder method but there is still something unusual about Mo's eyewitness account There's a contradiction in Mo's eyewitness account. Why? Why? There's a contradiction in Mo's eyewitness account. I can present this. Maybe he was like two below Mo's window for him to see them. I don't know. I don't think presenting this is gonna help. I could present Mo. I mean, I, you guys, this has been a challenge. Jesus. That's not it. Maybe it's a person then. Maybe it's a person. Unusual about Mo's eyewitness account. A contradiction in Mo's eyewitness account. I, I feel like I'm gonna die again. I really do. Honestly, because I have no idea. Like, what happens if I choose Mo? <laughs> Love it. Having a great time. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I mean, could y'all remind me of Mo's freaking testimony? Like, this is... Ugh. 
Mo said that he heard a thump. He went to check his window and saw Max's outline or whatever. Like, what? what is contradictory about that? Like, okay, the way that the visual diagram happened was that the cloak went kind of backwards onto the bust, I think. I mean, I've been saying this entire time, it's weird that the cards are like protruding and that nobody saw that and they just thought it was a human. But, wouldn't, okay. Was the inside of the cloak facing Moe's window, meaning like maybe it wasn't backwards to Mo, maybe it was forwards and he should have seen that there was a bus there. So is the bus the freaking answer again? I guess not. Hmm. All right, y'all know the drill. All right, you guys, I'm gonna keep it so incredibly real with you. I don't know, we have Four more chances before I die again. I would love to not die again. We've been going for almost three hours. So I'm gonna start with this. And get that wrong. Love that. Y'all, I, I have no idea what the game is going for right now. None. I don't see a contradiction that I haven't already presented in evidence. And it could be anything. It really, it, it could really be anything. I don't know. And I don't even know if it's a person or if it's a piece of evidence. Okay, apparently it was a piece of evidence. The silk hat was on the bust. The cloak was on the bust. The white roses were not visible. Okay. So they were asking for me. Okay, I see what the game wanted. It wanted me to go back in time to the previous trial and explain a contradiction that I guess we hadn't fully explained before. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize it wanted me to do that, but that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I didn't realize it, but that's fine. That's cool. Oh, so you mean when I presented the bust as the hard evidence, it should have been accepted? That was bull. That was bull. That was bull. Okay. He was facing a different, the cloak was not facing that way? Okay, at least I didn't have to explain that one because that I was not sure I was going to provide evidence for that. But I'm glad Phoenix just took the time to explain that. Okay, period. We love it. We love it.
I mean, I think I've proven what I've needed to prove, Your Honor. Why? I mean, okay, it is absurd, but it's the truth. Like, uh, the truth is sometimes absurd. What do you mean? Where else do you want us to go? Where else do you want us to go? <laughs> okay. Mind what, Acro? Okay, explain. That's true. I have that negotiation paper. Interesting. The things that I'm already thinking for the next trial, that pepper, I don't know why Acro would have an issue with Russell going out and shooting Leon because Leon hurt his brother. So I don't, I don't see how that's relevant, but those negotiation papers I think are going to be emotive. Acro was probably severely underpaid like all of the other circus performers performers were especially compared to max and when he saw how much max was making i mean to me that's a crazy reason to kill someone but that's that's what i'm thinking the motive is going to be okay today was a day but you know what while we've had better trial days we have certainly had worse. We made it quite far before we died and I'm very proud of the conclusions I was able to come to. Even though it was not perfect, I think I did a pretty good job today. The theory has been coming together piece by piece, but there are still a few pieces of the puzzle missing, which is exactly where we will pick up in the next video. So definitely come back to the next video. I'm very excited to see how this trial wraps up. I'm guessing next video is going to be the sad part because there was literally nothing in this video that was sad to me, but I'm excited to get into it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Goodbye and go thrive.